All right, today I'm going to show you how to add a date picker to your Google Sheet. So a date picker is just like this, where you can click on a date and have that pop into your Google Sheet. So Google has added this shortcut when you type at date, and then it has this shortcut here. You can select uh, a date there. Um, but this requires me to type this in, and what I want is just to double click and have that pop up. And so let's go ahead and go into our first cell, and I'm going to right click and click drop down. And then we have this interface. I'm going to show you another way to get to it real quick in case. Uh, let me actually delete this real quick. Remove rural. All right. So another way you can get to it is go to data and then data validation. And then you have this interface and you click add rural. So this is the same spot that we just were. So we don't want to drop down. However, we need to change this criteria to is valid date. So once we do that, click done. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this up here just for the moment. You can see that now if we double click, we have that date picker and we can pick a date and so forth. So if I go down now to a three, you can see I double click and we're not having that pop up. So because our date, uh, because our data validation rule is still over here, you can see a two is the only one that has it. So there's two ways we can edit this. One is I can click on this and then I can add this in there like that. Another thing I could do is I can go over here and drag this down. And so what you can see now is that went A2 to A15. So it doesn't, it means it's not here, but if I go to A15, then it is. So if you want to go to the whole column, probably the fastest is just to do this. So if it's A2, then just do colon A and then click done. See now it's down to the bottom, which is a thousand. So anywhere in here, we can double click and select a date. So let me do one more thing before, before we wind up this video. So if we select a date, I just want to show you really quick how we can format this date. So this is showing up in a month, day, uh, and then four digit year. So if we click on this one, two, three here, we can see a quick shortcut to this. Another way to get to this is format and number, and you can see them there. So either way, same display. So we have here a date format, which is actually the same one we have there. So month, day, and year. And that's what's showing up here. We have a time then, or a date time. So if we do date time, then we can see that. And all it's adding is uh, zero, 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 zero. And this is the time. So we could add a time here. Let's say it was two o'clock. We could add 14. Or if we get rid of this, let's go back to a normal date. So let's look at some other date formats real quick. So if we click on custom date and time here at the bottom, then we can see some different ones here that they have preset or you can build your own. So if we clear this out, for example, they have different options that you can use. So you can do, if you need to do day first, for example, and then month and then year, you can do like that. And then underneath these, you can select whether you want two digit, four digit year, uh, if you want a month leading zero, abbreviation, full name, first line of the month, etc. So we can scroll through here if you find one that you like. So for example, if you want to see this, where it's part of the month, uh, so March 12th, 2024, like that, um, you can go back here and pick different ones. You do a plain format like this, um, all the different formats there. And then you can also add time there as well or something even full like that. Um, versus this case, we didn't have any time in there, so it's showing up as 12 a.m. We then went back and added our 14. You see now it shows 2 p.m. All right, so I just want to give you a quick idea on how those formats worked. So you can adjust through that custom date and time, or you can select a standard one here. All right, so that is it for today on adding a date picker in Google Sheets. Make sure to check out our other videos for more tutorials and quick tips on Google Sheets and Google Apps Script.